hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with another edition of One on One. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about, well, some news. What's happening over at CGC. And hey, more importantly, what's happening here at the Comic Doctor's office. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some price changes. I think I've already alluded to that a few episodes back. This was coming. Well, it's now here. It's now live on the website. I just want to go over to the website and... Um, and go over that with you and again if you have any questions uh pertaining to the comic pressing service cgc service shipping and that kind of stuff comic book collecting of course you can always ask your questions but you have to subscribe to the channel to do so otherwise i won't know what you are saying guys i'm kevin the comic doctor i'm a comic book presser i'm also an authorized cgc dealer located way up in Oshawa, ontario canada and like i said this is an episode of one-on-one where i talk to you one-on-one about what's happening in and around our awesome hobby of comic book collecting and you know what lately magazine collecting too magazine collecting as well uh okay so first and foremost there hasn't been any unboxings you've noticed that i didn't do an unboxing this week well like I said last time, it seems that uh, I have a lot of books over there. They're just kind of going very slowly through them. And uh, I appreciate that. You know what? I'd rather them go slow and get the, you know, take an extra few days to go over the comic books to make sure there's no cracks or whatever in the slabs before shipping them out. And perhaps they're doing just that. There are some books on the way. I don't know if they'll be here tomorrow perhaps saturday or sunday fedex has been delivering on the weekends now so i would anticipate a box back probably by sunday a box or two or three actually um so that's a good thing and if you were here for my last unboxing of all those awesome magazines not one problem with those magazines so i was very happy to see that let's hope that carries on now over to the comic books um see so that's cool with cgc um, another thing too that happened, I noticed the last couple of mechanical error submissions that I returned to them, they didn't show up straight away on their, on their, uh, on their database. It took about five days before, uh, these books would show up, but I have a feeling they were doing that also. Uh, they're, they're taking their time sorting through books that people are, uh, sending back for mechanical errors. I did speak to a couple of cgc reps uh you know customer service people a few weeks back and they said they were being inundated with uh, mechanical errors some legitimate some not so you know when you get a, when you get the old comic doctor up in toronto shipping back you know 100 here and 100 there and 100 here is he taking advantage of us let's find out well, i don't know what the reasoning is i really don't care uh, they're going through, uh, again, the submissions and ensuring that my, my mechanical errors are legit, which they are, and we will go from there. All right, so the main reason I came on here uh, to do, let me just go to the chat. I, I don't have the official chat today, but I'm going to do my pop-out. So in case anybody does have a question, I can see it. There it is right there, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move it over here so I can see it. Um <laughs> this must be about mechanical errors rob says no no i just an update about that more about my my uh my breakdown of pricing okay so without further ado let me take you over to where is it there it is my website this is my website here guys you can find this yourself and i'm sure some of you have already gone over and taken a look at this because i did update this about two weeks ago and if you go over to my website, I have two sections now. I have a CGC uh, pull-down menu, and I have a comic book pressing pull-down menu. You can have a look at this, and it just breaks down what's happening, what the what, what, what the fees are. And there's not really, honestly, all that much of a difference, and I'll explain why in a second. So first and foremost, we still have our exclusive pressing clean right here at $25. This tier now basically is a press only tier so if you've got books uh that do not require any dry cleaning whatsoever it's going to be 25 and this usually pertains to books that are uh, and, I, and i've been charging that already for books that require no dry cleaning and the way i i kind of uh come to terms with that is the fact that modern books that don't require dry cleaning do require extra steps that older books do not require so they do take more time in a different in, in our in our technique anyway uh they take more time than a regular say 1970s marvel 
you know uh the papers are different they're they're modern inks uh almost like laminates or like like, like plastics so you have to be very very careful when you press these books we've developed a technique that works really really well um you've seen it actually in the in the in the in the, in the before and afters on books like ultimate followed four which i've been having great results with so those books now modern books no dry cleaning 25 dollars um, next, we have the exclusive dry, dry, press and dry clean tier one. Now, this is basically the same thing you get in number one, but now you have dry cleaning involved. And dry cleaning, you know, uh, is a step that uh, is necessary on a lot of books, probably on the majority of books we see, even on a lot of modern books. Uh, sometimes modern books, like for example, A Saga Number One, that's a good example. Um, or, you know, the uh, Wolverine, oh, is it, uh, is it Wolverine? Oh, I forget the three clawed one. I forget the name of it. That book is all, it's a modern book requires a modern approach to pressing, but it's usually a filthy book. So is saga number one. It usually has not always, but sometimes has lots of uh, rubs along the, the spine that requires dry cleaning. Well, those books would go under this tier for $30 per book. So from dry clean and a press, it's now 30. No dry cleaning. It remains 25. The next tier is, uh, and I'll take, if you have any questions, guys, I'll take the questions when I'm, when I'm through this. The next tier is tier two uh, for books that are valued between $500 and $999. Now, that being said, any books that would, would you know, be sent in under these two tiers here, whether it be modern or um, a book that requires dry cleaning, if the book is in excess of $500, it goes to up to a up to nine hundred ninety nine dollars. It jumps to tier three, which is forty dollars per book. This was always a gray area with me. For example, if someone were, was handing me over a you know uh, an ASM three hundred or an Ultimate Fallout four, a Batman Adventures twelve, and it's you know it was around you know the seven hundred eight hundred dollar mark, getting close to the thousand dollar mark, I would often times charge between thirty five and seventy five dollars, depending on how big the order was. I was kind of just willy-nilly doing it to be quite honest but i'm now formalizing it so any books that are from 400 to 999 are now 40 dollars per book okay which then leads us up to the next tier lots of tiers guys lots of tiers exclusive exclusive press and clean tier three uh this is for books from a thousand dollars to um uh three to two thousand nine to three thousand dollars basically is a hundred bucks and this this is kind of close to what i had before uh, any book over $1,000 to $3,000 is $100. Uh, these are Canadian prices, by this is not American pricing. So if you're an American watch, it's knock about 30% off uh, in and around there. So that tier really doesn't change at all. It still remains $100 per book. Uh, the exclusive press and clean up to tier four are for books in excess of... Um, of three thousand dollars is now it was three point five percent plus twenty five dollars now it's just three percent three percent of fair market value again that went down a little bit that one actually and the magazine tier here at forty dollars remains the same and then i mentioned this the other day we have now the er emergency rush service at 195 dollars that is for any value book any value book up to, actually I'm lying, up to $6,500. That book is done usually within about three days. That book will be completed and on its way to CGC. Uh, and, you know, uh, a lot of people who submit books uh, under this tier over here, under the 3% tier, um, even over on this tier here, for a bit more, you can sometimes for 20 or 30 or $40 more, if you're uh, in this tier here, you can jump into the emergency rush service and get your book back lickety split. You know, um, and again, there's no minimum or maximums here. It's any book, any age, any value up to $6,500 is $195 done within three days. Three to, I, said, I think I said three to five. I think I said two to, two to four days there, but usually three days it should be done. And then off to CGC with my next shipment. Um, books over $6,500 are subject to a 3% of fair market value. Kind of go back to that routine again. And I rarely get books in excess of that, to be honest. I do once in a blue moon. In fact, I've got one right now, but very often, but not, I don't get them every single day. Um, the ER service also is basically five spots a week. I'm not going to, you know, if someone gives me like 
Well, well, I'd love to do it. If someone gave me 200 books to go under the ER service, I'd be crazy to say no, but I will say no. Uh, only five spots per week for that. And I've already used it about I think three times this week already. So there you go. It is working. People do want to use it. It's there if you need it, should you need it. I don't expect most people to use that, but it's sometimes people buy a book or pick up a book that's really special and they want to get it done lickety split. That's a service for you. You're getting, you know, the, the, the comic doctor touch and you're getting it done very, very quickly, but we're not, we're not, um, you know, we're not cutting corners with that either. You're getting the proper service that that, the prop, that book with the attention it certainly does deserve. In fact, every single tier, whether you give me a book that's that's uh, over here at the $25 press or up here at the $195 press, once a book is on our table, it is getting the treatment it deserves. Every book gets the attention to detail you come to expect from me over here at the Comic Doctor's office. Let's see if anybody has any questions. I kind of lost my, um, uh, my chat. There it is. Okay. Uh, James is here. How's it going? RP is here. How's it going? John Sherwood's here as well. Michael, wet cleaning is only 10 bucks, but no wet cleaning for me. I'll tell you. <laughs> I just worked on a book tonight, actually, that uh, was wet cleaned. That was wet clean. It's an absolute mess. An absolute mess. And another reason why I don't really want to get into that. I think it's, uh, and you'll notice a lot of people aren't talking about it very much anymore because there's been a lot of problems with those books. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Stuart. How's it going? Good to see you. Brian says, evening all. Jonathan Doomer's here. John, how you doing? John, I got to get that Star Wars one done for you. I, I, it's, it's, it's there. I haven't started it yet. You're really behind. I'm really behind on your book. I do apologize. I'll get to it very, very soon. Uh, Mike's here. See, I haven't forgotten you. I, as soon as I saw your name, I said, oh, John, Star Wars number one. Um, Brian Bowman's in the house as well. Michael says, this book doesn't have long to live, Doc. Send it to the ER. Well, <laughs> that's not the case. But yeah, I mean, books will, some books will automatically go into the ER service now, which I kind of like. Books of high value will go right into the ER. Now, I'll talk about something very important about that, actually. With the ER service, say you've got 20 books, 20 modern books, and you have one book that you want to, to do with the ER service. Actually, I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to see if I can get... Hold on, let me just uh, get the live stream back on so I can see what I'm doing here. I want to show I want to show you something else too. I don't know if I can get this to work, but I'm going to go how to submit comics submission form. You'll notice now uh, here. Okay, this is what I want to show you here. You'll notice here pressing and cleaning submission form, new emergency ER pressing and cleaning submission form. If you've got say 20 books you want to submit, and one of those books you want to have go through the new ER service, I need you to do a separate form for that. You have to do a separate form. Just because one book is going through ER doesn't mean all the books are going through, through the ER service, but I do need a separate form. The separate form actually has an ER notice on it for me. As soon as I get it, I'll file it and we'll put it, we'll put it at the front of the line, okay? But you have to create a separate form for that right here. What happens when you flip the button? I, I haven't even gone through it much. My Oh, there we go. Emergency pressing cleaning submission form. So yeah, there's no minimum here, guys, in terms of how many books you need to submit. But um, you'll also notice too, for all you guys that are custom labels fans, my, uh, do you need a custom label? So even if you want a custom label, this now notifies me to contact you uh, before I um, ship, submit the books to CGC. So I asked my my IT guy or my network guy or my I guess my WordPress guy to create that for me and he did and it's working quite well. So anyways, again, um if you're doing the emergency rush service, you have to do a separate form for those books. All the other books would go under the pressing and cleaning the normal submission form and that's it. Okay? Let's see what else you guys are saying. Uh Let's go back here. I'll get my, uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, whoop. hold on. I'm trying to find the chat window. It seems to be hiding on me. It's right here. I can see it. There it is. Okay. Um, Spiro's here. Hey, Spiro, long time, my friend. Are these prices ineffective as of today or submissions that are, oh, okay. Yeah. Now, if you've sent me, guys, if you've sent me books already, uh, that have the old pricing, it's the old pricing. It's the old price. I'm not just changing it on. Yeah, it's old price. Old pricing stands until you submit a new form. Okay. So yeah. And the anybody who submitted brand new forms over the last couple of weeks have used these new prices. But if I have books here of yours that are with the old form, then um then it's going to be um 
it's going to that's going to stand okay now the books aren't here yet i don't know if the books aren't actually physically here i don't know we'll see i have to, we'll have to figure that one out um what would you recommend with Star Wars 1 9.6 you're going to crack for me? What do you mean recommend? You mean uh, what what tier we should send it through? Uh, Mike says 200 equals 195, 429. Do it, Doc. Oh, <laughs> 195. 185 is, uh, I like that number. It just rang nice in my mind. Uh, Kevin, is your fair market value based on raw graded? As I understand it, although I may be wrong, CD does it. Tears based on graded. No, it's based on what the book is right now before you give me the book. I've always done it that way, guys. I've always I've always based the value on the book based on what the book currently is. So if you get a big bump on that, hats off. God bless you. You got some, you made some money. That's wonderful. Uh John says, no worries, no rush. Thank you. You're cracking a 9-6. Whoa, Jonathan, I know. It's a nice book, though. John's taking a, a gamble with it. The Real Hyperion. What happens if the book is over 6,500 for ER service? If it's over, it's it's still ER service, but it's now 3% of fair market value, uh, not not uh, not 195. I think 195 cuts off at, at, at the 6,500. Let's see. Let's see. 6,500. Yeah. So three percent of three uh, percent of sixty five hundred is one ninety five. So beyond sixty five hundred, it's just three percent of fair market value. So if you are submitting a very big book that is in excess of that, you just want to automatically use the. You want to add automatically use the ER service. Your book gets done faster. Okay, uh, it's just a. It's just want to get that sucker done. You know, I should have. I wanted to do this a long time ago because I get a lot of guys submitting really big books to me and. The only problem is when, say, someone hands submits like a, a Hulk 181, and say it's a really nice copy of Hulk 181, but they submit it with ten other regular books. It's kind of thrown in with with the other batch, and and I I, I can't. It's hard for me to differentiate when I have a. a a submission of say 20 books how the heck am i supposed to know there's one book in there that is um a, a, one of that's you know a special book for example right so this now gives me like a, i have a separate binder for these when they come in i print it out it goes into that binder and it's it's done like like i said really quickly well, well as soon as the book comes in it's done really quickly that is the whole the whole point and i have to mark i have to tell people too if they're shipping books in using the er service they have to put er on the box otherwise sometimes because sometimes boxes sit before I get to them, and if I don't, if, it doesn't, if I don't see the ER service, you won't. Uh, it won't. Actually, I got to write that down on the website. Thanks for reminding me, guys. I got to put that on there. But uh, yeah, uh, Frank Destazzi's here. How you doing? Eric says, uh, "Evening, Doc. Excited to have you work on my books. I'm excited to do your books. I am." Uh, Frank asks, "How was your eyes? My eyes today actually felt pretty darn good. I still have, you know, the odd little twink, you know, ache here and there, but." it's as good as it can get uh i'm still dealing with the eye pressure that's something i i have to i have two appointments coming up um uh regarding that because i'm hoping that my eye is not going to require any more drops but right now i'm still doing uh three drops a day to keep the eye pressure at bay but like i said i'm going to be seeing the specialist very soon and the retinal specialist in the middle of june to make sure everything's looking good as well too but i'm, I'm so and, and i always say even if, if my pressure is high and i have to take drops it's it's so much better. Oh my God, the vision is so much better than it was. So I'm so happy I did that surgery. Uh, I wish that the pressure will. I hope the pressure will get back to normal. Uh, but again, I'm I'm happy with the surgery. It was a, it was a success as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, thanks for asking, Frank. Uh, Rob says, did you see the announcement from CGC about yes. It's not much different though, Rob, is it really? It's the same old idea. The things that, that, that CGC is talking about in regards to mechanical errors is that now it's always been 14 days. Once I get a box of CGC books, I have 14 days to, to make a claim with crack books or, or whatever, okay? That's always been the way. Uh, but what they're saying now is that they 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 insist the person who submitted the book, hi, that's me, uh, has to return the books, and that is something I did not want. I wanted to put that back onto my customers. Um, it's if, if if this again, I don't want to talk prematurely, but if this crack issue continues, 
um i'm gonna have to put my foot down and 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 just you know when people submit to me they have to know that if you know there's a crack in the in the case that doesn't really affect the comic at all or the visibility of the you know how nice the comic looks i'm not going to be sending them back um it's going to get to that point but again i don't want to talk prematurely I'm, i've got i've got good feels that they're going to solve this problem for us and we're not going to, have to deal with this anymore but i can't keep doing what i've been doing it's been just a nightmare so you know i can't do that and run this business it's just it's a, that's cgc's problem and I'm, I'm i'm fixing it right now and i have been fixing it to keep everybody happy but it's it, there's, there's there's a time limit on that i'm just going to stop soon and if that means i have to stop doing cgc if people don't want me to you know then then so be it i you know um I hope that doesn't go to that, though. I hope it doesn't go to that. Because um, most people want it. Most people want CGC, right? And and I, I want to keep offering it, but it has to be, you know, it, it is, it's ridiculous, right? Um, the forces with Kevin always. I hope so. I just did, actually, guys, I just did a Fantastic Four number one. Uh, the last of Stephen's books. And you guys remember Stephen from way back uh, in October, no, I think it was October, November, I think it was, uh, Amazing Fantasy 15, X-Men 1, that's Steven. We did a very quick live stream. He did kind of a show and tell until the live stream died. But uh, Steven sent in a lot of books, a lot of books. His order is now finally complete. I think we have like, we're finishing up like five or seven more books, and then the order is going out to CGC. But uh, I just finished off a Fantastic Four number one of his, and I'll be putting before and afters on... Uh, on probably Instagram and Facebook later on this evening. You tell me if the force is with me. Let's see if John is right. I think the book is going to get a bump. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it will. Um, Frank says, one question. Did you make it easier if you want to submit like 30 books at a time with your submission sheet? Ah, oh, Frank, no. Um, no, I have not. I haven't changed the format of the actual submission form. Um, I know, I think, was it you that was complaining about it? I've had a lot of guys <laughs> complain about my submission form. They don't love it. I just dropped a whole bunch of cash to get this submitted, this this whole submission thing fixed up. The next step is to have the form redesigned completely so it's easier for you to submit. Um, but to answer your question, no, I didn't. And that being said, you don't have to use a submission form. What? I don't have to use a submission form? Listen, if you'd rather go to Microsoft Word and do a list of, you know, of your books in, in a word in a word document or an excel spreadsheet so long as when you submit the book i have a list of every single book and then when you come to the shop to drop it off you sign off on it that's fine too um i have no problems i know there's one guy once he's, he did like a big order he's like 60 books and then it reset or something screwed up and he, and he had to start all over again he was really pissed off so i get it it, it can be glitchy but I have, I have a lot of guys that do use it and do, like, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I got regulars that use it quite often and, I, and they don't seem to complain about it. But if you're having a problem with it, don't use it. Just go to Microsoft Word. Heck, you can think, you know what, you can do what, uh, <laughs> you can do what John Sherwood does. And John, if you're here, I think it was, you can you, you can just write it on a piece of paper. Write down your comics on a, on a lined piece of paper. Nice and neat, of course. And that works too, you know. But for guys that are sending books in from, um, you know, from across the country, the form is a little easier. But yeah, I'm easy, man. I'm easy. Don't worry. Frank's got a lot of books here too, my friends. Frank's been waiting very patiently. You want to talk about a lot of books? Uh, yeah, we're getting there. And now that Stephen's books are done, I had another fella come call me today and was not happy with my turnaround time. Uh, you know, only so much I can humanly do, right? Uh, you know, like, like I said, right now, currently, between all of us, we're getting about 100 and... Um, 70s, maybe 150 books done a week right now, currently. It's not a lot when you have a big backup, you know? So, um, you know, could I, could we just put all guns a-blazing and do one guy's order in a week? I guess we could. Maybe I should. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm just trying to be fair to everybody as best I can. Um, you know, I know it gets, you know, uh, hairy. And a lot of guys wait for my, a lot of guys wait for my, my t let me, for example, if you send me a book tomorrow, I won't look at your books for three, three and a half months. They'll sit and wait for three, excuse me, three and a half months. But once the three and a half months come, we start working on your books. Now, if it's 25 books, they're going to get done in a week. They'll be done. If it's uh, if it's 200 books, though, 
what I tend to do at that point, and do you tell me if this is fair. I, I, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. And I, I, I did this with Steven's books too. And I, I don't know if it was, I, I was trying to be as fair to everybody as I po possibly can. But what I, what I do is you wait your turn in my queue. Once your, 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 your submission comes up, we then look at it and we say, okay, a hundred books. We're going to do it over maybe two, two and a half weeks, three weeks. We won't just hammer out a hundred books right off the bat. Should I? Or, uh, you know, I break it up into 25 or 50 a week. You know what I mean? And get them done that way. But it seems like it's longer because they've been waiting, you know, three months already. I don't know. What do you think? It's That's a dilemma I have. Because while most people submit books of like two or three books up to 25 books, that's usually my, my most, probably my average submission number is probably around 15 to 20 books. A lot of guys like to submit 25 to take advantage of the shipping deal. Some guys ship me 400 books, guys. Like I, I do get guys who, you know, and it's, it's I have a few guys that do that. Um, so when I get, you know, 300 books on my lap or 400 books on my lap, do I just, once we get to their form, do I just close everybody else off and do those books or do I do it in segments? You tell me what's, what do you think? I don't know. Um, A month I'm currently working where we've now gotten into February um, and February wasn't too crazy I don't think so you know we're hammering we're moving along we're into February now yeah with the odd person from like like John who's been waiting patiently John has submitted one book and it, it should have been done honestly two and a half months ago like John just kind of slipped through the cracks to be quite honest um, and the book is in a slab. I find when the books are in slabs, it takes me a little longer to get to them because I got to crack, especially if someone gives me a lot of slabs because, uh, you know, like Pierre's another one. Pierre's another guy. Pierre gave me some slab books and some raw books. The raw books are finally getting done. The slabs are still in their slabs because it takes time, right? It's like I'm trying to... Uh. Uh, Eric says, do you think CGC will ever try to challenge CBCS with verification services for signatures? I've often wondered why they haven't, but they, they don't seem to be interested in that. They, they like their signature series program. Maybe they think if they're going to offer a verification program, it'll discount what they're doing. I don't know. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't. I think that would bury CBCS if they did that. That's the one thing that CBCS has over CGC. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm surprised they haven't, to be honest. CBCS contacted me today, actually, and asking if I wanted to be, you know, come back and all this kind of stuff. And they offered me, a, I thought, a pretty minuscule discount. So I don't think I'll go to CBCS. I just don't think enough people want CBCS, you know. Um, here's a question for you. If I were to go only to CBCS, would you still send your books in? There's a good question. Just to the 25 guys that are here right now, yes or no? If I were to say tomorrow I'm only a CBCS rep, would you be happy? Yes or no? This will give me an idea of whether or not CBCS is a good alternative or not. Uh, Rob Bin says, CGC said Newton rings are uh, optical illusions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I saw that too. That was something else they mentioned. So now if you have a Newton ring, you're stuck with the Newton ring. But like I said, the Newton ring can be can be solved pretty quickly. Like for example, this book does not have any Newton rings here. But if I, if it did, um, what there's what you do is you 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 basically the, the bottom of the book kind of opens a little bit without doing much effort. You take a strip of not this, this is a piece of card, but a strip of mylar. Take an old Mylar comic, like a four mil, four mils better. You cut into a strip like that and you basically shove this inside and you just kind of go like that and it will basically separate the inner well from touching the, the plastic, the acrylic case, and there goes and say goodbye to your, your um, what do you call it? Your uh, Newton ring. Maybe CGC should have some kind of tool they should send with their comics to get rid of the Newton rings should they appear. But that's all you got to do and they go away. So there it is. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, 
Hey, cool people. Hey, Adam Donnelly, how's it going? Good to see you. Yes, I prefer this. Thank you. Good, Franklin. Go ahead and do that. Don't even worry about the uh, the uh, online stuff. Eric says, I sent five, maybe six books. I know I'm a small fry and we'll wait. No, you're not a small son. I don't care. And I, know, I, I don't want anybody to ever think that their that their orders are any less important than the than, the, than a big order, right? That's not the case. I, 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 again, I'm customer service. I'm really... I'm really, I'm really hip on the customer service guys. I don't know why. I, I just always been that way. I guess maybe because I started working in in retail when I was 14, 15 years old, and I was always just, you know, I was taught by managers and whatever how to how to uh, how, how to interact with clients. But even one step further than that, I'm a customer. I go and I I I, I go to the real world and I've I've uh, I've dealt with people, and um, you know when you're treated properly. It feels good. You you enjoy interacting with people. But I've been ripped off so many times. Uh, by con I've had this conversation before. I'm not going to go into it again. By but in the last probably seven years, the contractors who ripped me off, and I would never do that to anybody else. It breaks my heart that I can't make everybody happy. Like the fellow I was talking to today, I knew he wasn't happy that the wait has been as long as it has. I can't do anything about it. Like I. I I, 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 don't, I don't think some people don't realize just how busy I really am. They think I might have four or five clients. It's not the case. It's a lot of clients and it's very busy. Um, so yeah, I, I try to make everybody as happy as possible, but if, if it can't work out, it doesn't work out. And the, in that case, it's best to find someone else who's faster. That's all there is to it. You know, um, I've never claimed to be fast. That's for sure. Um, uh yes i prefer okay eric brian says 400 books and i thought i sent a lot of books <laughs> guess not wow brian speaking of which guess whose books are on their way back yeah you got some x-men books coming back as we speak um yeah uh, a lot of books it was a lot and you know it was weird because bo bo boxes kept arriving from steven i'm like well how many books and i, I think i kind of lost track of how many books was actually here um so yeah it was a lot of books it was a lot of books uh frank so my books are up kevin yes frank they're coming up very soon i saw your your probably the next week or so we're finally going to get to them at least start them anyways you see frank you're like one of the ones i'm talking about we're going to start your books they won't get done in a week but we're going to start working on them finally with other smaller orders so you got a big order i think frank's got a frank i'm gonna take a wild guess i think you got maybe 150 to 200 books here right now is that right could be more could be less but it's a lot of books um we're going to start working on those and uh like i said other people with you know smaller orders they'll get done at the same time you know what i mean like not at the same time but i mean we'll work on them in conjunction so we just keep things moving like if i were to work on say say i got a 400 book order in that was like coming up due tomorrow we start a 400 book order i could i would not get to anybody else's books for a month Right, and that—that's why I don't want to happen. I want to keep things moving. No, see, so no one likes CGC. Jive Turkey says no. Spiro says no. Dave says okay. Doesn't mind it. I would not send my books to you if you switch. Don't like their product. That's Eric. Prince Zodiac says no. Adam says no. See, like no one wants. No, listen. The majority. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't even know how CBCS is is, is surviving. To be honest, I, I don't understand it. Kevin Horn, hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Whenever I see, think I see Kevin Horns, I mean, I always think of Hulk 181. That's what I always think of. Dive Turkey to clarify, I would still come to you for a press and clean. But we'll get someone else to submit to CGC for me. No, that's fine. I get you. That's fine. I'll tell you, there was a time when I stopped doing CGC. It was a very nice period of my life. Because <laughs> CGC sucks. I don't mean CGC sucks. I mean the CGC. A uh, process sucks. It's a lot of work. Even if the packing works, like even packing takes forever. I, I sent five five packages out last night. It took me four hours to do five packages. It's like part of the reason is I don't have a permanent. I don't have. I have no uh, like like shipping area at the shop or here at my home shop. I don't have a shipping area. So when it's time to ship books out. Everything is upside down. I got to pull out the bubble wrap and all the boxes and all the, it becomes a nightmare, right? Um, so it takes a lot of time and, and shipping. And, that, and that's why I don't ship like every other day because I, I would never get anything done. Um, usually I, I ship, I try to ship once every week and a half to people like whose books are out there. Now CGC is a different story. CGC is not really hard to ship to. I use the boxes that they ship 
their books to me in. And so it's very easy to pack them in there. And I use my, my, I shrink wrap the books. I put them in there, bubble wrap it and they go really quick. And I, and I do ship books usually weekly to CGC. Although I haven't shipped to CGC in about two weeks. I, I was just waiting. I'm just going to wait a little bit. <laughs> I just was, uh, all these cracks were just getting to me. So I stopped shipping, but I'm going to send it. I got a big shipment to send out next week. So that's going to be my, that's going to be my Sunday afternoon, uh, fun doing CGC stuff. Uh, yeah, long time no talk, Kev, for sure. Uh, no light says I like the quality of the CBCS slabs. I've had to get so many of my CGC slabs fixed or redone and CGC customer services isn't very good. Yeah, I know. I know firsthand. I know, although I don't think their customer service is not bad. I think they've been really quite good for me. Um, but there's only so much they can do, right? I'm sure they're being inundated with guys like me regarding those those cracks. Brian says, I've, I've never had an issue with your approach, Kevin. One thing you're really good at is setting expectations. Well, I have to. I have to. And I tell people, if you want fast, please go somewhere else. Don't come to me. Because I'm not going to get your books done fast. You're going to be slow, probably the slowest one there is. or one. Uh, well, I went to the slowest one, but one of the slowest ones. And when I say slow, it's not that we're slow. It's that we're backed up. We got lots of we got lots of books in queue. It's not that we're, you know, once we get to them, they get, they get done pretty quick. But it's it's the it's getting to the books the problem, you know. And I, and I used to do, you know, uh, submission freezes. I don't want to do submission freezes. Um, right now, we're still at about three months. Three, two, two and a half, probably to three and a half months before we get to your books, which is pretty damn quick for me. Because I have never been that quick in the last three years. I've always been at least four to six months. And at one point, I was nine months. No, I wasn't nine months. I was lying. I'm lying. About six months, five, six, seven months before. Like last, last October, I was still at the five month mark. Now we're like, we've cut that down, which I'm very happy about. I hope by the end of summer that we're at like maybe the two month mark. Two months, you know, eight weeks to me is a good, is a good lead, lead time. That's what I'm hoping for. Thanks for that, Brian. Spiro, I submitted beginning of February, to, so my book should be next in line. Uh, I'm still looking at my first nine nine. Spiro, well, they're coming. If you're, there's a lot. Listen, Frank, Spiro, um, I have my I have my binder on the floor right behind me. But yeah, they're coming up. If you're in February, we're gonna do honestly early February first, and then you know we go along. So I'm not sure when you submit it, but we're gonna be getting to them. Brian says, "Yay! Glad to hear the books are on their way back. Curious to see what happened with the Star Wars sixty eight uh, Canadian price variant that tier that got bought. Oh, that's true. I want to see too. Oh." I'm not sure where I'm not sure the I, I I was gonna go look at it now, but I don't think I can. Frank says yes, about a hundred, and I have more for you coming. <laughs> no problem, Frank. Thanks, my friend. So what we'll do, Frank, with those hundred, we'll put them in queue. We'll try to get all one hundred of those books done in about thirty days. No, twenty about twenty business days, right? So we'll do 25, 25, 25, 25, CGC done. That's that's what I'm hoping. Um, uh, what I what I also tell people too, and I have uh, another fellow who's really hardcore in the magazines. Uh, Matt's watching. How you doing? He waited a long time to get. He gave me. He he wanted to get his magazines done, and I kind of explained. And I think he wanted to submit them back in like November as well. And there was a bit of a wait time. And I told him that. But I said, when I get close to your submission, bring them in. And then I said, create a submission form every month for, say, how many books do you want to do? I said, he said, I want to do about 10 to 20 books a month. I said, well, then do a submission form for the next six months. So you have one a week or sorry, you have one a month. So every month you're in the queue. You know what I mean? And that'll that'll work. And so he already, he, so we did his first set of books They're at CGC right now. He dropped off another 10. We're working on them as we speak. And then um, next month there'll be another ten, and he'll he'll always have them in queue. That's the one way to ensure that you're continuously going. That's if you're in a bit of a rush. If you're not in a rush, don't worry about it. Just just be patient, and the books will come back. I promise you, you your books will come back at some point. I don't want your books; they're going to come back, unless of course it's a, like a Hulk one eighty one or a AF fifty. Then I sure I'll take your books, but no one ever leaves their books behind. They always come and get them. Know, what can I do? Um, Eric says, packing is the reason I'm dragging my feet to sell the five to six long boxes of stuff I need to move. Ain't nobody got time. For it. It's a lot of friggin' work. It's a lot of work. GTA ladies here. How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Mr. Horn says, I hear you can buy a guaranteed 9-8 direct from the comic book supplier at a great inflated price. Is there any truth to this? 
which nine eight are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean? Oh, new books. Um, I I don't know. I don't really deal with deal with that. Um, sure. I I could see I could see sort of how they would do that, but. Yeah, I don't get into that, but I, I could see how somebody, if they're dealing with new books, could sort of guarantee nine eights and charge a lot for it. If I had a hundred brand new books hot off the press, and I want to say they're guaranteed nine eights, then I'll charge you an inflated four or five hundred dollars for the book, and then I send all of them to CGC. Maybe I'll press them all as well. Pretty sure the most will come back nine eights. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty much a guarantee, I think. Brad's here. How you doing? Hey, Kevin. Hope all's well. Current wait time for a press and clean is about three months after submission. Yeah, about that. About that. It, it could be a little bit less, maybe a little more, but it's, it's in and around that time. Two, two and a half to three months. You know, again, it depends on how many of these big orders we're working on. If we don't have a lot going, big orders going at one time, then we can usually get through them relatively quickly. Um, but to be honest, guys, if you've been waiting for to have your books done, and honest, honestly, this three-month grace period has been a blessing for you because your books are not coming back cracked. And I'm hoping that crack situation is, is rectified now. Because, uh, I mean, like guys like Peter who's been waiting, his books, most of his books are done. He had, I think I sent his books back in January, for example. I think he had like 25, 30 books go there. Half had to go back. Half had to go back. Danny as well out in Alberta, same thing. Uh, he had all these star, awesome Star Wars books and Crow books. Like about a third of them had to go back. So yeah, their books got done. They're finished. But then then, they, then their, their orders are in limbo as we're waiting for these mechanical errors to come back. So, and I still have, like I can show you. Do I have it here? Check this out. This is my, I don't know if I could pull it out or not here, but M-E, M-E. These are just... These are my mechanical error ones. These are all the clients I have right now with mechanical errors at CGC. Probably about 22 clients. And then I have a couple more over here. So yeah, I had to put like special stickers on everybody's, on everyone's dossier. So I would know whose books are, are still at CGC because of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's a lot of bloody work, guys. It's a lot of bloody work. It's been a bit of a nightmare. Uh, uh, any bumping up if a CGC signing event and there's a window for submission? You know, Brad, that's interesting. That is something I wanted to get into, to be honest. And maybe... You know what? Probably in the summer, Brad, like in the summer months, I'm going to introduce something about because I'm going to start promoting the signature series events at CGC. So if someone big is going to be there, I'm going to offer that. And I may only be able to offer uh, a very few spots uh, for that as well, too. Just like the ER Express service. I can't do more than like if I did like 20 spots and they filled up again, that's 20, 40, 80 people. 80 comics that are being bumped each month. That's a lot of comics. So I'm trying to keep that under control. And the signature series thing could, I think, could really blow up. Could be something that could take a lot of time. So yeah, uh, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about it. Again, CGC, just like, you know, their stupid pricing where they, um, you know, where they, uh, oh, CGC, like where they do the, um, you know, uh, what am I trying to say here? Where they, where they do the, uh, the price, the price hikes. They don't give you any notice. They do it like in a two month period. Oh yeah. And in a month, your, our prices are, are tripling or whatever. They don't go triple, but they, um, they don't give you any notice. The same thing applies with these, some of these signature series. They don't give me enough time as a presser to have people bring their books in. And so the odd time I'll have someone like Josh, tell you Josh, you know, who will have a couple of books or, you know, Luke, you know, often likes those signature series events and, you know, they'll give me one or two books and I'll, I'll do the, do it for them. But I don't do it very often because again, it becomes that same problem. I was doing it. Then when the Todd McFarlane thing happened, I was getting calls like up to like a week before it was due. I can't, I can't, it was too many. They don't get, they, they should give me six months notice, but they don't. And because of that, I can't offer it. 
but I, I do want to maybe I do maybe want to offer something like that as well too. Um, but uh, but so stay tuned on that one. That is a good idea, and, and I've been thinking about that. That's next. That's next. Because honestly, signature series is I, I love I love that they're, they're doing it in house, um, and the prices aren't crazy. Um, but that being said, also a signature series, I don't make a penny on signature series stuff. When they do a signature series event at $75, I get nothing, nothing. So I have to build a, a, a fee into that, right? To, to, to do the whole, um, submission for you. And it's true. Even the grading, like usually like, like when I, CGC gives me 15% off of grading. That's pretty much where I make a little bit of something to do CGCs. And I've increased that a little bit, as you'll notice on my CGC uh, price breakdown. I've, I've put those prices up a little bit. Honestly, it's not been worth my time. I've had that conversation before. Um, but same thing applies to signature series. A, not enough lead time. B, there's no money to be made for dealers. I don't see, I don't understand that. To me, it makes no sense. So I have to create a fee structure for that. But yeah, I will do something with that. Eric says, I have an ASM 97 signed by Stanley and Gil Kane. It's raw. I just love that issue and would love to get Ramita to sign it as well. Should I try to track him down or should I leave them him alone? Track him down. Track him down. There's a company in the States called, I don't know if they're still around or not, called Desert Wind. My buddy Ben used to use them all the time. And Desert Wind, uh, they can hunt down these guys for you. If there's a, an actor or a famous person you want to sign a comic, I think Ben used them to have Chuck Norris sign as Chuck Norris number one. Uh, they'll take your book, they'll put it like on hold, and they'll when they have an opportunity to, to have uh, uh, some time with, say, in your case, John Romita, they'll pull it, have him sign it, and they'll send it to CGC, should you wish to have it graded after. The only problem with that is the other two signatures are not verified. So, yeah. But yeah, I can get John. Why not? You might as well get John Romita to sign it, too. That's cool. And Brad says, okay, cool. Thanks for the info. That's awesome. All right. Uh, guys, I think that's about it for me. Listen. Thanks again for tuning in. It's going to be about an hour. Um, almost had 30, 31 of you here. That's fantastic. Glad you could make it. Um, when the books arrive from CGC in the next few days, I will do an unboxing. And we will see together if those cracks are a thing of the past. And boy, oh boy, I sure hope they are. Hey guys, if you are new here and you do like talking about comic books or you like to have your, your you know, your, 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 you like to keep your, I don't know, keep your, keep, I can't even speak, guys. It's too darn late. If you like comic books, this is the damn well place for you. Uh, so, you know, hit that subscribe button, the like button, subscribe button, all that stuff, and notification bell so you'll know when I go on live. And if you haven't done so already, go check out my video I did with Robert Meyer Burnett last Friday. That was a lot of fun. I went over to Robert Meyer Burnett's uh, uh, channel. Uh, Rob's, we did Rob's Revations together. I gave out a copy of Guardians of the Galaxy number one to a lucky winner down in Texas. Just mailed that out today. But I wasn't expecting to be on the show for an hour and a half. I thought, you know, you'd see this mug for a few minutes at the beginning of the show to talk about comic book pressing. But Rob thought, what the hell? I would be his Vanna White for the night, this good-looking dude, and uh, I was his co-host for the entire show. It was scary, but it was fun, and I do appreciate uh, him letting me be there with him. And uh, so if you, if you want, go check that out. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great night. Uh, good start to your weekend tomorrow. Long weekend, May 2-4 weekend. Hope you have a great time, and hopefully I'll see you before Monday. Until then, take care. All the best. My end thumbnails now queued. Good night. Bye, all.